happen. Amazing. Um, anyway, yeah, so this is the question. Do you want to do a regular interview or do you want to do an interview that's a regular interview but starts out with us talking about the rice gum shit that happened today? Because <laughs> I know you've seen it. I, know so I didn't actually. You I didn't really, see I it. I did not see it because I don't go, fuck. That's do you want me to tell you some of the things that he said? You can go ahead because I didn't fucking see it. I thought some of it was a little inappropriate, I'm going to be honest with you. He's very not. Well, he said you look like a rat. That's one thing that I... <laughs> Multiple times. Multiple times the rat accusation was thrown around. I wonder where he got that from, Frank. Oh, she's blaming her security guard right now. Wait, well, he, he says that about his, you? That's his number one go-to um, insult to me. And so did you meet him as your security guard? or Because yeah, it seems like you guys exactly. are very close now. You know, when you're with someone every day, mm. you just, it happens. Right. You even dropped his salary in a song. Which I thought was pretty impressive. Because, you know, a lot of people don't he think... He makes less than that, though. Don't, don't get his voices. Oh, you exaggerated <laughs> on his behalf. He makes like $3 a day. We have to tell her that, so she can take that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very nice. I like that, though. It's like, you know, you're around somebody so much, you might as well just start, you know, being friends with them, right? I mean, it's more forced than I've ever... It's forced? Yeah. Because you guys are... Forced. Just, you have to be around like, I him? I have to have him here, or else I'll, like, lose my sanity. Right. Well, you probably also just end up in a bunch of... We were of... in New York, and my we, we were staying at my grandmother's house, me and my mom, mm -hmm. and then he was staying at this hotel. I'm talking about literally across the... I'm not, like, right across the street, literally. And I didn't sleep the whole night because I was having separation anxiety. From him? Yes. Really? I'm serious. That's what happened. It's like you're, like, childhood teddy bear now at this point in your yes. life. Except, <laughs> except he's, like, 240 pounds and looks like he's probably killed somebody before. Maybe not probably. literally. No. He's just <laughs> probably manhandled some people before. Some people. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen him have to do in terms of like protecting you? Uh, I mean, usually people don't try because he just looks like how he looks. Some mm. people just kind of just like don't do anything because they know better. And... Other people who just like there. There's some people who just don't give a fuck and they'll just go to talking shit, but they don't ever get close enough. Like they just. We had one incident with the Grove and Frank was gonna like grab him by his throat. That was about all that happened. A dude who was bothering yeah, you. Yeah, it was like some little ass kid, and he was like, "Will you really square up though?" Frank was like, "Nah, but I will." And then he like ran away with his friends. So that's like as far as we got. But I just recently got to watch him beat up someone. <laughs> really, on your behalf? In my backyard. <laughs> Someone in your backyard started they were, something? They were really slot boxing, but, you know, Frank doesn't know how to play fight. Really? <laughs> oh, so it was his own little slot boxing thing. Okay, I got you. All right, you want, you want me to tell you another thing Rice Gum said? Sure. He said, keep bragging about, the, about you getting money, but the label taking half. Mm. So he's claiming that he knows what's up with your so. contracts. Probably not. That's not really I how. I promise you, he's never even seen a contract in his life. Oof. So how is he gonna tell me? Okay, but in his opinion, you've talked a bunch of shit about him. So. <laughs> but what? What is it that you don't like? I'm allowed to do that. You're not. See, this is not, you got these bitches have to understand. We're not equal. Mm -hmm. We're not equal. Like when a teacher tells you something, you just do. You don't talk back to the. Well, you're not supposed to. But I mean, mm -hmm. don't take advice from me. But you're not supposed to. Like. You're, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're the teacher, to rice gums the student. Yes. Why do you feel like, that that you're is? you're my son. Like, the fuck's it down? You think he was influenced by you? I mean, I think he's more slick now ever since I came along. A lot of these bitches do that because, listen, I know, I know one bitch, right? Never got her nails long. Told me my nails were ugly long. Who never cursed, never did none of that shit. Now she be on, oh, bitch, fuck, da da da, slut, bitch, ho, pussy ho, da da da, with her nails long as hell. Like, get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. You've been doing that for a long time, having the ridiculously long nails? How the fuck do you type with that? Same way you type? I type, like, with my mitts. It's like I'm a fucking bear just smashing away on so the keys. I. I can't imagine. <laughs> no, I've seen my no, girlfriend do like... it. Yeah. You, you keep them floating above it, sort of. That's cool. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, some of the other things you said were kind of mean in general. I don't know if we should necessarily dig no, go in ahead, on it. Tell me, I want to know. Mm, some of it seems kind of inappropriate for me to even repeat. Do you want me to just read it off there? <laughs> uh, yeah, you want to read, you wanna <laughs> read, you read these top two lyrics here? That uh, those are quotes. How the fuck are you fourteen with rumors that you sleep around? 
Just like your dad, you're not a girl I want to keep around. Hey, I didn't say it. <laughs> How do you feel about that? You think that those are pretty good bars, or do you think First that's kind of bad? Foremost, let's get something straight. I'm not. I, I'll don't get me wrong. I'll conversate with a lot of dudes who I find attractive. Doesn't mean I'm dating them. Doesn't mean I'm with them. Doesn't mean I have a hold on them. Doesn't mean I've never done anything with them. Mm -hmm. So just because you've seen me with a dude means that I'm automatically having sex with them. Like, come on, get out of my face. That's offensive. Like, I, I took, took a picture. With, what, not even. Was on FaceTime with Kodak. I didn't meet Kodak until fucking day and night. Mm -hmm. until, I, until that day. I, I, did, I never, had never met him until then. And there was already rumors going around. Oh, she fucked Kodak. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'm at the studio and I meet, and I meet Jack Boy. So mm -hmm. we took a picture together. Okay, cool. And then, oh, you got to hit just like when Kodak hit? No! People are just crazy assumptions. There was rumors about Trippy. So. There was rumors about... Uh, I remember Trippy was going off of people about that shit. Um, who else? There's been so many... It's skies. So, like, just, like, shut up, please. Yeah, people really just feel the need to just assume, huh? Especially since they would be discussing criminal behavior for a lot of these guys. They're way too old to even be... Considered in this conversation, but I people guess. people just assume, huh? I guess. It's crazy. Fuck you, laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kodak kind of like I felt like he was trolling by having you do the video for him. He didn't have me do the video for him. Who did? It was an Atlantic thing. No, I wasn't even with Atlantic. I didn't even know what fucking what Atlantic was. Okay. Like, so how did that happen though? Uh, we were just shooting a video for my merch, and the song came on, and I just started going, and that happened. That's it. Really? That was it? And we were like, I guess Kodak got his hands on it, and he was like, let's make this the Everything 1K video. Right. How do you feel about the fact that Rice Gum also had some stuff to say about Young Boy? What do you say? I didn't even write down exactly what he, wrote, what he said. I just wrote, he brought up Young Boy. Brought up what about him, though? I don't know, something about how you weren't treating him right or something. That's a very touchy subject because I don't like when people talk about that because you have no idea what happened in that situation. Really? No one knows what happened in that situation. No one knows why we're not together. No one knows why he went with some girl I was beefing with. No one knows why, nothing. So when it, whenever it comes to young boy, people need to keep their fucking mouth shut because you know absolutely nothing. And is this just information that you're keeping close to your chest? You don't want anybody to know? This is just like, listen, me and him, we met we met through an A&R at Atlantic. Mm -hmm. I had listened to his music way before, right? I'm thinking, okay, cool, I'm going to meet him, right? So I go I go to the studio, I meet him, and he he's like, oh, um, let me get your number, right? So I'm like, okay, give him his number. I'm not thinking nothing about it, really. Like, okay, he's cool, whatever. Like, I'm not saying he's ugly, but I'm not thinking nothing in my mind, right? And then we take a picture, he puts his arm around me, and I'm like, okay. And meanwhile, he's 17, so, and it's my decision anyways at the end of the day, so if I wanted to pursue anything, I could have. Mm -hmm. So we're just regular-ass conversations, like nothing, nothing, none of that, and then we just... I got an argument about something, and I'm in my mind. I'm like, this can't, this, 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 this isn't gonna work. So I just okay, too intense for just, you. Not too intense for me, but just I see the type of person you are, mm -hmm. and I'm not putting myself in that situation because that's how bad shit happens. And I, I'm like, and I still, I still stayed cool with him. I never had beef with him or nothing. I just stayed cool with him. But I think, I think what happened on his part was he got upset because I understood what was going to go. I understood what route he was going to take just because of how him, the type of person he is. And I was just like, all right, cool. And then I think that's why he ended up with that rat face bitch. Oof, there we go. Um, do you, did you see the video of him with supposed girl in the hotel hallway? Yeah. What did you think of that? Is that the kind of stuff you were worried about? Um, <laughs> listen. He, that's why that's yes and no because we we had a we had a different type of relationship it wasn't we weren't dating we weren't just friends we were just like like we just like kind of connected in a way if that makes sense mm -hmm. like so i don't i don't think i don't think he would do that if that was me mm -hmm. i just i don't and i think that we wouldn't be together for that reason because he's that type of person he wouldn't want to do that mm -hmm. so there you go. But do you feel like 
people blew the relationship up into being something bigger than it was just because yes. people like to do that? Yes. Um, I mean, all with those with those pictures that were posted, all it was, he sent me the pictures, and I'm, I'm just like, all right, I'm going to post one. I posted one with a caption from one of his songs, mm -hmm. and then he just did it back, and I'm like, okay, cool. I guess he's really fucking with me. You know? 